Hello, so I'd like to start off this video by saying thank you to everyone who subscribed recently. It really helps my channel grow and it really helps me know what kind of videos y'all like to see. So, <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, oh, sorry about that. So yeah, just keep it up. But the event that occurred in this story happened about a month ago in my statistics class. So essentially what we were doing is we got this assignment where we partnered up and we got some Skittles. So we picked out five randomly, one at a time, and with our eyes closed we would try to guess what flavor it was. Now this was basically to try and prove or disprove the claim that all the Skittles taste differently. Now I actually didn't even get a single one right, and you may be thinking I'm stupid, but I, I challenge you to do this yourself. It's actually kind of harder than it sounds. Now it's two groups per table, and my partner does pretty well, but one of the guys in the other groups gets all five right. No, that, that's pretty respectable, but you know, a few other people got all five right, so it wasn't anything groundbreaking. But then he looks over at us. And this was, this was on the down low. This was a covert operation. He was just talking to me and my partner. He didn't want the rest of the class to know of this. And he offers us a challenge. A test of his taste buds. So he looks over to me and my partner. And he says, I bet I can take this entire cup of Skittles, pour it into my mouth, and without looking, determine the number of each flavor. So right off the bat, me and my partner had zero faith in this actually being possible. I mean, I don't even think a supercomputer could do this. Me and him just did this one at a time and couldn't even get them all right. There's no way this guy's putting an entire cup of Skittles and getting them all right at the same time. So of course we accept this challenge, but not without thinking it through. You see, he could have already counted the number of Skittles in his cup, so we threw a fork in the system. We gave him our cup of Skittles. You see, our teacher gave us like 30, because she wanted us to do the experiment and have some to eat, and we had 13 left. So I cover up the cup and I, and I look into it and I write down the number of each flavor. We had six green, three orange, two red, two yellow. So we make him close his eyes and we give him the cup and he, he puts his hand over it so there was no cheating. You know, he couldn't have seen it. He couldn't have looked in there and he dumps the entire thing in his mouth. Now what happens next is incredible. You see, as I was watching this, I think if you could go back in time and watch Newton discover gravity you would see something similar to what I saw this day. It was like every nerve, every fiber, every cell was working in his brain at full speed. It was quiet for a while, you know? I could see him doing some sorting, some, some categorization in his mouth, moving his tongue around, you know, moving the Skittles around, really getting a feel for them. And then he took his pencil, and he opened his notebook. When he wrote down a six, I knew I was about to witness something incredible. That six was followed by the word green, and then a three, followed by the word orange. You see, at first I was scared. I, I really was, because no man could hold such a power. So I knew that a god had descended from the heavens, and that I was likely about to be smited for questioning his ability. I immediately began to prepare for my death. I, I took out a piece of paper and started to write my will. I, I texted my family. I texted my girlfriend. Not only to tell them that I love them, but, but to help them understand as to why a funeral would just not be a possibility. For my body was about to be vaporized by whatever other abilities this god held. And then without any hesitation, he wrote down two red and two yellow. I immediately dropped to my knees, bowing to him, begging for forgiveness, begging for my life to be spared. I, I promised him that I would never question his abilities again. And then he hushed me. He said, child, you are not the first to question me. And you will not be the last. But you will know forever of what I can do. And with that, he was gone. I, I don't actually know where he went. It, it seemed as if a flash encapsulated the room, and, and he was gone. I went home that day with a strange feeling, a, a, a sense of a second chance. Um, I don't really know how to explain it, but, but I knew, I knew he had the power to end it all right there. To, to smite the one who said he can't, but he didn't. And, and for that I am forever grateful. So I leave you with one word of advice. If a man, a, a man who looks just like me and you, ever approaches you and says, I bet if you give me those Skittles, I can put them all in my mouth and tell you the exact number of flavor without even looking, do not challenge him.